my name's Alec from the PaperCut integration team. Now that you've had a chance to look at the fleet deployment feature, I thought I'd show you how you can actually also automate the configuration of devices and printers for the Web Services API. This follows on naturally from the fleet deployment because after you've actually deployed and created your devices, you then need to modify them through things like user authentication um, and watermarking on printers and so on to set up fleets on a large fleet. That's quite tedious. So here's how you can actually make that job a lot simpler and faster for yourself. So the best way to, to do that is to show you how it works. So I've got here a multifunction device. And just quickly, the only thing I've got configured on it is username and password. Uh, and I've got it set up for the simple cost model where everything costs the same amount. Uh, and I'm just going to flip over to printers here. And if I look at this uh, this print queue here, the global postscript preview, again, I've got a simple cost model. And if I scroll down, uh, watermarkings not be configured. So let's see how we can very quickly do that. So you've already seen how you can have a CSV file with the information relating to your device. And what I've done with this CSV file is I just added some extra columns that correspond to the things that I want to configure on my devices. So for instance, here, I'm actually going to configure the cost model. Um, I'm also going to configure uh, the user authentication. So I'm actually going to switch off the username and password options. Just show you that. Uh, I'm going to switch on uh, swipe card mode. I'm going to switch on card self-association. I created a second uh, database file as well, second CSV file. Uh, and this one's for printers. So I've got the printer queue over here on the left, and I've defined the various uh, costs for each of my um, page sizes. Uh, and I'm actually going to configure watermarking. So I'm switching on watermarking, and I'm setting all the different walking mark watermarking values, such as the text, um, the font size, the the grayscale, the level of grayscale, and, and it's the, font, the watermark position. So having got these two components, the third thing I need is I actually need a script that's able to read this file in and um, read all the different values out of the spreadsheet. And depending on whether or not it's a MFD or a printer, I'm going to set up the various columns that I've read from the spreadsheet. And then all I need to do is to call the set user set printer properties method called Web Services APIs. And that'll just load all of those config settings into each of the printers or devices. If it's a device, then I just need to do one final step, which I actually need to apply the device settings because with a multifunction device, um, it's entirely possible that any changes won't be picked up until the device is restarted, which could be, you know, uh, days later, possibly. So it's it's kind of important to make sure that you just uh, make that call to apply device settings so that the device settings uh, updates are picked up immediately. So running that is quite simple. So all I have to do is run my Python script in this case and just give it the name of the CSV files uh, that I've created. And if I do that, it's going to update the multifunction device and the printer settings. So let's just go back and verify it's done that. So if I hit refresh here, then it's applied the watermarking. You can see that. And it's also switched over to standard page costs for A3 and A4 and default. Um, and similarly, if I go to the devices and look at the multifunction device that I was using, which is my test device, then it's disabled username and password it's switched on the swipe card authentication, and it's also enabled card self-association. By default, it also enables PIN, but uh, you can actually add an extra column and have that switched off if you want, uh, or hard code that into your script. It's entirely up to you. So I hope this is useful. Uh, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with our support team, uh, and they can help you. Thanks a lot. Bye.